folding wagon. It's 51 centimeters by 93 centimeters by 57 centimeters for $88. So that's this one here. So you've got your little handle there. It does lock up. It completely folds up, which is really handy. It's all one piece. So it's a folding wagon. You can see here how it folds up. So it does um, say that it holds up to 45.4 kilos or 100 pounds. Right, so that's something to take in consideration how much stuff you're putting in it. Also, if you're going to throw a kid in there. It isn't padded underneath, right? If you're going to put your kid, child in there, so you might want to put some blankets down or something. It's got two um, water bottle like holders there in the front, and they can get quite a bit in it. Igloo Max Cold Rolling Cooler is 58 liters for $100, so it's a foamed lid and extra insulation in body, wide grip locking telescope handle, oversized soft ride sport wheels, integrated tied down loops, a flip up carry handles, and it says max cold five day performance. So that's all for a hundred. Igloo was one of the most popular brands that I remember from growing up. Like everyone, all of our like, you know, the old style um, handled lunch packs that like are boxes or containers with a flip top lid like right it would slide back and then slide up we always had those through igloo so this is five days um ice retention it's got max cold antimicrobial lining um it holds 62 quarts or 98 cans and then you can see here it's got the locking or it says locking handles but i don't think they really lock i'm not quite sure why they say that um it does have the little uh anchors there that you can put like a or hook stuff onto so it's just like a regular one. It has no like shelving or anything in it. Coho 156 liter blow mold cooler. This one is uh, plastic bumpers and anti-slip feet. It's got a quick access hat, provides yeah, quick access without opening the lid. It's got PU insulation, will keep ice up to seven days, and magnetic discs to hold fishing rods, etc. And it weighs 14.9 uh, kilos or 32.78 pounds for 280. So that's this one here. And as you can see on the top, it's got little uh, extra holders there. They don't have them all on the, like the display model. Then there's, you've got your lock. These ones come down and lock. They are rubberized. It's got a measurement right here. So right, if you're fishing and things like that, uh, this is locked. Let's see if I can unlock it. There we go. So this is the quick access. And then it's got handles on this one. So this one has the anti-slip grip. It doesn't actually have wheels like the igloo one does. So that's uh, something to think about, right? Because you, you're gonna need two people really to carry this because it's quite large. Um, so if you look here, it's 52.1 centimeters in height by 110.5 centimeters in width, and then 52.1 centimeters in depth, or uh, 20.5 inches in depth by 43.5 by 43 inches in width, and then it's uh, 20.5 inches in height. It does have, I just saw here, it has an oversized um, drain. And I think that's on the back from what I remember. Oh no, it, it's here on the side, right? So if you fill it with ice, it's gonna drain out. Um, it is a really good one. The only thing that kind of sucks is it doesn't have wheels. Cause I think that would make it a bit more manageable. But I mean, if you're gonna like maybe put this in the back of a vehicle and just keep it there, like in a truck bed or, or a ute bed, um, depending on where you live in the world, that's what they're called. Then um, that would be, that would be fine but if you need to move it around a lot I think it would be kind of cumbersome for this one because it doesn't have the wheels. With barbecue season almost upon us I thought I'd show you all the barbecues and similar items or outdoor items that Costco has right now. So they have the smoke hollow charcoal grill so this is a cast iron cooking grate with handles adjustable easy lift charcoal grate um, folding steel side shelves cast iron door it is 1524 centimeters squared total cooking area so that this is for 370 this is this one here so those are the shelves that pop down on the sides you have your tray to put in your uh, charcoal and then your cooking area that's actually really nice and it is like incredibly heavy <laughs> And then you've got lots of storage area and everything. There's vents. That's really nice. We actually need to get a barbecue this year. Couldn't have put it off for too long. And now I'm like, I just really, really want a barbecue. So there's the next grill, charcoal kettle grill. This is 320. Um, it has a cart and side table and includes uh, 2.31 square meters of cooking space, stainless steel cooking grid and removable ash catcher. So that's this one here. Oh, that's really nice. You got like almost like a prep table. Oh, it is backwards. 
they've like it but it rolls around really well and then here you've got like a little tray you can put things you can have a hanging area and then you've got your lid that pops off that's nice and then beside that i'll just wander down here this is the Napoleon 22 inch charcoal kettle grill for $200. So this one has a stainless steel cooking grid, stainless steel heat diffuser, cool touch handle, removable heavy steel ash catcher, rugged weatherproof wheels. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is most of these don't come with a cover. So that's something you would have to buy um, on your own kind of thing. Uh, this one doesn't have a handle, so I'm not gonna, well, I'll try to lift it. Hopefully it doesn't fall. So you can see in the inside. Oh, this one does come with a, of course when I say they don't, because the other two didn't, this one actually comes with a uh, cover. And then it's just kind of like a smaller version of it. And you've got like a little storage area underneath. And then that is your charcoal uh, catcher, your ash catcher. And then we'll just walk down here. This is the Weber uh, Spirit E210LP with roasting pack and cover for $660. So this is an LPG uh, fuel type, porcelain enamel, uh, includes two stainless steel burners, crossover ignition system, and fixed commercial grade thermometer, roasting pack, and cover included. Um, so just like this one comes with a cover, some of them don't, but I think a lot of the Weber ones do. Just in case they don't show you the roasting pack, this is what you get. So it's like grill plates. And you can see under here, this should have a cover on it down here where you can put your um, tank. You've got two areas. Oh yeah, there's part of the, oh, it's really heavy. That's a roasting grill. So that's like solid cast iron. And then you have a, oh yeah, there, this is the door. Don't let that throw you off. <laughs> this is the door that goes on the front down there, but there's your cooking surface underneath. This is a nice one if you have just a smaller back area or there's only like two of you, right? And you don't need a big barbecue. That would be nice. And it's a good quality one because Weber is a pretty good brand. The Artistry Awning. It's cedar with an aluminum roof. This is 100% FSC certified timber. It's uh, 3.96 meters by 3.35 meters by 2.51 meters. It's white aluminum roof to control the sun and shade gutter system around the roof and downspouts. Downspouts provide protection from the rain and this is for 3000 So I'm going to try to back up so you can see the whole thing. So you can see there, you must be able to change how the roof uh, is aligned. Let's see if I can actually do it. Is it working? Yeah. So you can lay it flat. It's, oh, I think it's locked. So this can lay flat or it can be slotted like it is right now. It's really nice. So this comes in, I think it says three boxes, um, which actually aren't that big. So like it would, this would fit in our van and we have like a Kia Carnival um, with like one of the seat, the middle seats down. So it would probably be fairly easy to get home and that's only for 3000. So it may actually be on the website. I will link it if it is on the website. Um, it will be a bit more, but then you can order it to, to be shipped to your home if you don't have a large enough vehicle to get it home. But you can see here how it's slotted, but it does actually wind so that it'll be completely flat depending on how you want it. And then there's the backyard elements square gas fire pit, and this is for 700. Look how pretty that is. That's so nice. Let's just have any information on it. It just says modern and functional design, 304 stainless steel fire burner. Uh, protective glass guards included, so that's the slides there. And then there's the easy push button ignition, battery included, adjustable flame intensity with simple on and off control. It uses a standard nine kilo liquid propane bottle, which isn't included, and then it includes a PVC cover to protect the fire pit when not in use. And then it's only in black. We don't have any other colors on the bottom. And then there's the Next Grill KitchenAid 4 burner with side burner. It's a four burner grill, sorry, with side burner for um, 860. So that's this one here. So that's nice when you have the extra white because you could do like, you could be boiling something there or making a sauce or whatever while everything's cooking on the grill. Sorry, this one decided to pull out all the wipes because you can't go to Costco where there's samples without wipes. <laughs> She's like, I'm not doing anything. Uh, so this one opens up here and you can see, oh, you've also got your, like your actual grill plate and then you've got your, your um, 
grids as well or the grills and then you've got four burners and in here let's see if it has hanging sometimes they'll have hanging things oh no this one doesn't have hanging but it does come with a KitchenAid cover which is really nice and you could always put like an extra uh, tank in there right and then you could switch them over if you do run out midway and you've got your thermometer on the outside now I know a lot of people say don't trust those and get an actual one inside or like a digital thermometer because those ones would be the first thing that goes wrong on your barbecue. Um, and then if you're looking for a tabletop one, they have the Next Grill 19 inch tabletop grill. Um, it's cast iron aluminum. This is 220. And it says it's got uh, two of the 304 stainless steel burners, cast aluminum lid and firebox, seven millimeter cast iron cooking grids. And the cooking surface is um, 1,685 square centimeters. So that's this one here. That's our first barbecue that we had was like a small one like this. It was a Coleman grill um, that we had on our balcony when we lived in Vancouver. So you've got the two there and then it's got the handles on the side and then you can hook it to your um, tank. So that's really neat. And then there is the Lodge Wildlife uh, Cast Iron Five Piece Camp Cooking Set for $150. So that's this one here. So it comes with, it looks like two cast iron. Let's see here. So you've got one um, 3.7 liter or four quart cast iron camp Dutch oven with a peasant scene. So you can see there, or pheasant, sorry, not peasant, <laughs> pheasant scene. And then there's a 26.6 centimeter or 10.5 inch uh, cast iron griddle with a moose scene, that one. And then there's a 26 centimeter or 10.25 inch cast iron skillet with a deer scene. So that's this one there. So this is what it looks like in person. That's really neat. Oh, and it's nice and heavy and it's got a handle as well as a little stand for it. So this is the one with the deer, so it's much deeper. The other one's more like a grill plate. And this is the moose. That is so unique. S series barbecue knife set. This is a seven piece set for $139.98. So it's on manager special. That's this one here. So it's a, it comes with a hard shell bag and knife sheaths included. Is it heavy? Oh, and it's heavy. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get to the back. Okay, so you get an 11 inch slicing knife, a 10 inch butcher knife, an eight inch rocking chef knife, a six inch boning knife, a 3.5 inch paring knife, and a six inch carving fork. And then you get the knife sheaths for all of them so you can protect them. That's really nice. And then beside that, they have some King of Smoke uh, Oak Smoking Chips. They're 10 kilos for uh, $80. That's so these ones here. It says American Oak Smoking Chips, strong, bold, and distinctive flavor and perfect for smoking meats. And then I think this is our last grill, but I'll show you the coolers and stuff they have as well. Uh, so this is the Louisiana Grills Series 900 wood pellet grill. So it has a push button ignition or igniter for easy start, digital control center, uh, 6.35 kilo hopper capacity for wood pellet fuel, uh, programmable meat probe for precision cooking, and weatherproof grill cover included for a thousand. So that's this one here. I like the fact that they have like a diverse amount of things that they have like the regular propane ones, they've got the charcoal and then they have the wood pellet um, ones as well. So this, there's your digital control. It's got your temp um, for your probe and everything is hooked through there. And then there's your grill itself. And then this one also has a little tray that comes out in the front and then obviously there's spots down there for your um, for like to store things, right? If you want to pop things underneath. And it does require, because it's digital, right? It needs to be able to plug into something when it's outside. It's really nice. So it says it has like an LCD digital controller and that's an easy adjust and manage temperature of grilling areas. Um, then it has a programmable meat probe, monitors internal meat temperature and automatically reduces uh, to low when meal is ready and then it has adjustable flame broiler and it says achieve sear marks like your favorite steakhouse by grilling with adjustable open flame broiler. Oh, that's really neat. 
isn't this funny? They actually have the lunch box that I was talking about that I remember like my stepdad taking to work. So this is the Igloo Playmate cooler and it includes two medium ice blocks for 60. And then there it is, <laughs> the one that flips back. So it has like, can't quite get in here, but it has like a little button right there that you just release and you can see it just tilts back. And I remember like my mom had a smaller version that she would take to work. My stepfather had one that he would take to work. <laughs> like everyone had those when we were kids. So this is a 16 quart or 15 liter um, box. It is sealed shut, so I can't actually, or it's like, or tied shut, so I can't open it, but it does come with two medium ice blocks, like the hard ones that you just throw in your freezer to pop inside. And this is again, a product of uh, the US. And then they also have the Tommy Bahama rolling cooler with tray, and it's a 96 liter for 300. And that's this one here. They had this one last year and they brought it back. I remember people really liked it. So it has, let's see if it opens. So yeah, it has two tops that open. So this one has the three cup holders. Then this one is smooth. And I think this is for like ice and stuff there that you can use that. And then it has a bottle opener with a catch for the lids. It has a collapsible tray. There is um, a basket underneath that you can store things in as well. It's got handles to kind of move it around and locking wheels. So that's pretty awesome. So it is a stainless steel body with power or powder coated base. It's 94.6 liters or 100 quart and it has 130 uh, can capacity. Removable ice bucket can be hung on inside or outside. Oh, this one here. So it can go inside or outside. That's nice. Um, bottle holders to secure beverages, portable woven tray and flip out side shelf. I was looking for the bottle holders. Those wouldn't be very steady. Like they're great for a bottle, but if you were to move this, they would just fall out, right? Cause that's so shallow. If it was deeper, I would say it would be really sturdy. Like you can see it here. It would only be if it's stationary. <laughs> if you're gonna move that, don't leave the bottles on top. Um, it has a towel bar there. Oh, that's on the other side that you can't quite see because of how it is in the corner there. And then there's the built-in bottle opener and cap catcher, easy access drain cap and locking casters. And it says, oh, the cooler lifts off base for portable use. Oh, that's really neat. So that whole metal part actually pops up and comes off. So you can take that on its own or you can keep it on the actual base itself. And then they brought this one back. Both of these were here last year. So this is the My Coolman car cooler. It's a 9.5 liter thermoelectric warm cold uh, cooler. So this is, uh, $85. So it's got built-in cup holders, USB sockets and storage for leads, uh, thermoelectric cooling and heating functions, polyfoam insulation. So that's this one here. So this is, I would say about the size of like the, in, like the middle console um, in our van, at least like the first part of it. So we have a Kia Carnival. I think it would be si still similar to like the Montana and things like that. So this is like the, it could fit down in there, which is pretty cool. And then it has the one, the cigarette lighter that it plugs in there. It weighs 3.45 kilos, it's 12 volts, and it can cool um, 12 of the 375 mil cans. So it is in length, it's, um, it's uh, 49.5 centimeters in length, 20 centimeters in width, and 30.5 centimeters in height. So that's this one. And then they have a bigger version of it. So this is the My Coleman Single Zone Compressor. It's a 47 liter portable cooler for 700. So this one is lightweight uh, construction, ability to freeze or refrigerate, integral three stage battery product or protection, reversible lid, um, and <laughs> repeated that again. And this is a handy interior basket for loading and unloading. So this one is obviously much bigger than that one is. Uh, it's 47 liters. Let's see, does it say the gallons? No, but it does say it has AC and DC output or input. So you can see here on the side, oh, it's really heavy. <laughs> You can see where it plugs in. It has the controls like for your temperatures and things like that. And let's see if it opens so I can show you inside. So it's got like a little basket and everything in there. And it says it's a reversible lid. So I think what that means is that you can open it from the other side. So I've opened it here. Uh, I'm not gonna, I can't reach <laughs> tall enough and I've got a baby strapped to me right now. So I'm not gonna try it. But I think that means you can open it from the opposite side. Um, just so you don't have to always open it from the same. Yeah, because it's showing it opening from the other side in the, oh, whoops, sorry, in this picture. There's one more of these <laughs> that threw me off. So you can see how that's the front. It's exactly the same because it has the, um, I guess like the fan there and then they've opened it on the other side. So it must just mean that it clicks because it does have these little like, um, like you release them, right? So it's clicking down over this. So it must easily be able to flip it the other way, if that makes sense. <laughs> 
Uh, and then there's an even bigger one. So this is the My Coleman 68 liter dual zone fridge with battery for 1400. So this one is exactly the same. So it's like has the ability to refrigerate or freeze uh, simultaneously, oh, you can do both. Reversible break away lid, uh, flush fold handle. So that means these ones kind of sit in, right? And they don't stick out. And then um, it has with an integ integral bottle opener. So that's really neat. I'm not gonna be able to lift this lid and show you inside. I'm really not tall enough to do that, but I will show you on here. Um, so it's powered by a 12 or tw uh, 24 volt DC blue compressor generator. It's got detachable and reversible two-way magnetic opening lid. Yeah, that's what that means, right? It can open on either side. There's bottle openers on both sides. Oh, okay. So that's this up here. This is a bottle opener. I was wondering what that is. So it doesn't have the catch like the Tommy Bahama, but it still has the built-in one. And there's one on each side of the actual cooler, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's got the easy to carry, uh, sturdy flat tie down handles, digital control display for each component with turbo function, which I means I think it means it just cools down much faster. Um, it's got multi-voltage system. So it's got a 420 or DC, which is 12 to 24 volts. Um, a DC inlet on two ends, perfect for truck car. Um, back deck. So I think it has, yeah, I think it has all, this pops out so you can plug it in on either end of it. Then there's a U USB port and charger with um, 3000 MA, stylish, robust corners for protection. So right, they've got the added uh, padded so you don't break them. Uh, there's a uh, energy efficient interior LED. Oh, that's what they're showing here. So see how it lights up. Oh, this thing's really neat. <laughs> Um, then there's a removable divide storage compartments, adjustable compartment to store upright standing bottles, active cooling of compressor step compartment, and uh, connectivity app via Bluetooth for mobile users. Oh, that's neat. And then this one, because it's for Costco, right? They like to give you bonus things. You get a bonus power pack. And this is a 15, capacity of 15 AH. It's a 16.8 volt or 3A. And it has, that's the input. And output is 14.8 uh, volt and has a 12 month warranty. Oh, that's really neat. It has an LED indicator, fully charged in five hours. So that's awesome. So you get that with the cooler for the 1400. And then you got down to this little guy here. This is the Titan rolling cooler with part, for, it's a 60 can one for uh, 75. It's got high performance insulation, uh, leak proof, easy clean liner, uh, water and stain resistant exterior and insulated front compartment. So um, I'll show you in a second, they have the lunch boxes that are the same brand. Right here, this is probably easier. So you can see it's completely folded here. It's much thinner than it is when it pops out. So this folds in, this part comes up so you can roll it around. It's got the antimicrobial protection, right? So a lot of the new, um, like I would say, even like my kids' uh, decor uh, lunchbox are all lined with that now, right? So it doesn't like mold and stink and things like that. So there's the insulation. You've got another pocket here in the front. Uh, let's see what else does it come with anything just leak proof so it holds 60 plus 10 uh, cans of ice so we must be able to or sorry 50 so you must be able to put 50 in the main pocket which is up here and then 10 in this one here so that's nice that's easy if you're just like going to the beach or something and you don't obviously want to truck along one of the big coolers lifetime utility shed this is an outdoor storage shed it's 1.76 meters high by 1.1 meters wide and 1.92 meters in length it's got a steel reinforced construction, high density polyethylene walls, UV protected, and it says access from top or the front. So the top pops up. Oh, it must lock in some way. I can't do that. And then you open it here. So it's got a shelf in there. If you can kind of see it, I'm trying to keep the doors open. It's got hooks on the walls. Oh, and there's, that's really nice. And then you've got your latch on the front to keep it closed. Lifetime outdoor storage shed. This is 2.3 meters high, uh, sorry, in length by 2.3 meters in width and then 2.4 meters in height for 2000. So it's got steel reinforced construction, weather resistant materials, lockable doors and customizable uh, storage shelving. So you can see here, like it's got like a latch on the door. And then just like the smaller one, it's got hooks. You've got two shelves. Uh, well, let me open this other door that's really squeaky. Sorry, so you can't quite see, but it's got two shelves. And then there's more of these hooks on the other side. And then up here, it's got windows that also extend to the sides as well. 
I'll try to back up so you can see the whole thing and how large it is. I was literally about to put up this video and then I just found a few new things. So this is the Northwest Sourcing Original Size Pedestal Apollo Fire Pit. It's $300. They had, I don't know if it's exactly this one they had last year, but they had something very similar. So the thing that I love about this one is that for one, it's all contained, right? We've got kids, just the side that opens. Oh, here we go. So we have kids, they're gonna get into things, but it opens up. This is all removable on the bottom. And then this grate, sorry, I've got a little one in the carrier, opens up and you can cook on it. So you can grill in the fireplace. Like how cool is that? Like that is so nice. And it's like very sturdy. It, this is painted, right? This is an actual like metal on the edge here. It is a painted kind of bronze uh, color there. So let's see what we can find about it. So it is heat resistant up to 800 Celsius or, four, or 1472 Fahrenheit. It's a cast iron grate um, that swings out. It has three adjustable heights for grilling a 360 view with spark guard mesh. So it makes it safer, right? If you've got kids, uh, extra wide hinge door allows for easy access for grilling and adding wood. There's heavy duty, all steel construction with high heat resistant finish, includes fire poker and removable ash pan and for use on non-flammable surfaces such as stone, brick and or concrete. So how nice is that? I think the one they had last year was like $500. So this is an even better deal. As I thought this was the same one, but now that I'm thinking about it, because we were gonna buy it, but it sold out before we could get back to get it at store or in the store. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was like $500. But this one might show up online as well if you can't get in store and it, probably in the next like month or so. I was just about to get someone here to help me fight, figure out how tall this is and I saw the one side of the box I didn't look at. So it's 1.26 meters tall by 0 0.73 meters wide or 49.6 inches tall by 28.74 inches wide. Coleman Back Home Screen House, it's uh, 3.66 meters by uh, 3.05 meters for 250. So it says it's easy, one push setup, um, pinch free, two entryways. So you can see it all set up here and I'll show you up top. Uh, it does have UV guard for 50 plus protection. So it's really large. So that would be really handy for outside, especially with all the mosquitoes. <laughs> you want to do like a little picnic outside or something or have like a little party. Mm -hmm.